Add some fun to your knitting and crochet today on Knitting Daily. This program has been made possible in part by Celebrity knitter Deborah Norville is back, and she's got some really cute little friends along with her. I do, and this is um, just a few of my friends. When I first started crocheting, I made toys. My sister had just had a baby, and I remember making woolly lambs and baby ducks and stuff like that, and how much fun it was just to make them. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it'd be fun to talk about that today. Well, great. Um, sh show us these, these little chicks, this family of chicks. This is the chick family, and um, the chick families are so much fun. And this is the same pattern, and I think that's one of the things that's All kind of fun. All three of these are the All same All three of these are the same pattern. This mm -hmm. is a sock weight yarn that we used a very small hook. I forget which one. This is a worsted weight yarn, and then this is the heavier chunky yarn with a larger um, uh, crochet hook, and this is the, how do you say, ami, ami, amigurumi? Amigurumi, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I can do it, but I can't say it, which is fine, <laughs> and and they work up so quickly. Well, I think it's great, and the patterns for these are going to be on the website in case Absolutely. you want a chick family of your own. Mm -hmm. So show us the basic method. Okay, well, all of these kinds of toys start out the same way. So um, you make a chain, a crochet chain of mm -hmm. two loops. Ah, come on, wake up. So there's one. And two, and then you go back and you attach in your first loop so that you made a little ring. And pull that through. Mm -hmm. So now you've got your little ring here. And it is a very small and ring. And it's a very small ring, so forgive me if I don't look quite as proficient as I should. And then you're going to make six crochets in the ring. And the first one is the biggest challenge. And you just stick back in there. What I like to do is I actually use the ring to anchor down my. Um, my tail. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of hide it yeah. inside your crochet stitches. And this, stitches frankly, as you go. getting started is the hardest part because you do get stuck in that little tiny hole. But you're kind of working in a concentric ring all the way around. Yes, you're working in a concentric ring. And what we've got here is to sort of show that because mm -hmm. it's a little hard to demonstrate. This is the concentric ring. So here's the six that we start with. And then you just continue around. But you mm -hmm. want to mark your, your um, rows. And it really doesn't matter where you mark, but you want to be sure that you mark in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So let's say this is the beginning of this row here. And the first stitch is here. So this is a split marker. Mm -hmm. split ring marker. So you would put that on there and then when you crochet around when you get to the first stitch of the next row because mm -hmm. the only place you can really screw yourself up is if you get off count because mm -hmm. then you'll be one stitch wrong. Mm -hmm. It won't matter that much but it can matter a little bit and a lot of people go oh my gosh I've lost all my we had a hard time finding some earlier today. There are a lot of different markers you can use. This is the, the cute little like mini safety pins or you mm -hmm. could use a real life safety pin in a pinch I've used I've used paper clips Very before, resourceful. and um, sometimes if I can't find anything else, I was crocheting this summer on vacation and have access to anything. Mm -hmm. I took a piece of string, a different color, just keep moving it mm -hmm. every time you go, and you just continue around and around. That way, you don't get a lump. There's never mm -hmm. joining. That's what you don't want to do, and so, you just continue to make your shapes. So all you need to do is just keep track of where you are. Exactly. Well, so. With these, you're just increasing steadily, right, to just make a basic sphere kind of shape. Exactly, yeah, and and it's sort of cylindrical, and then you you get to usually, depending on how many stitches, let's say at the widest point, maybe you've got 22 stitches mm -hmm. around at the widest point, and then you'll be decreasing mm -hmm. as you go forward until you get to the very end, and then you it's, it's so basic. You make the ring, you pull the string through, mm -hmm. and you're done. With these animals over here, it's a little bit different to get the shaping, like this little doggy here. He's so cute. Um, but again, this is also using that variegated yarn, mm -hmm. which makes it kind of fun. I love the texture of it, and yep. it just feels good. And um, it's a nice dense fabric, exactly. And which is good because depending on what you stuff it with, mm -hmm. you know, we talked about stuffing. Uh, the density of the stitch is very forgiving in terms of your your mm -hmm. um, your stuffing. Well, and this is really the same basic method. It looks like just changed up a little bit, your rate at which you do, are doing your increases. Exactly. And your decreases. In this case, we're obviously decreasing a lot more um, mm -hmm. more quickly. And another thing to point out, here we used buttons for the mm -hmm. eyes and the nose. Um, you do not, do not, do not want to do this if you think there's ever a chance that a little kid is going to be playing with this. Age three and under, and I would even make it age five because everything mm -hmm. with children goes in their mouths. So just stitch it on as we did mm -hmm. with the chick family over here. Well, and I really like that, you know, we can kind of see how flexible these are. You can really have fun with them, just with the embellishments that you put on. You can have fun with them. And the other thing, too, is this cat pattern, think about it. If you made little round ears mm -hmm. and a longer, skinnier tail, 
-hmm. and did it in a brown fabric, and maybe you didn't do the little chubby cheeks here, you've got a monkey. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be afraid to experiment. My, my joy whenever I'm crocheting or knitting comes from getting outside the lines, mm -hmm. right? You know, not following the rules. Making it your own. Making it your own, and I guess I'm such a nonconformist. Um, and then just the other thing I would point out is um, be creative the way you stitch things together. Mm -hmm. We turn this basically rectangle into a cat. A knitted rectangle. Knitted mm -hmm. rectangle, mostly by just stitching here and making the appearance of the little legs. Well, how fun.